I'm here at HPE Discover with Doug Haskell, and Ilo, of course, has been part of the HPE servers for many generations. It I think has. we're up to number five now. Uh, uh, generation five, 15 years of Ilo. So what's what's new in, in ILO 5? Well, we got some really great new capabilities in ILO 5, and I have to say this is the most awesome Discover I've ever been at from an ILO perspective. Having our stuff talked about on the main stage by Meg and Antonio and Alan, uh, our silicon-based root of trust is brand new for our Gen 10 servers. Uh, the hallmark of our claim that we have the most secure industry standard servers in the world is based on that silicon root of trust. The ability for the ILO firmware to validate in the ASIC, in hardware, that the ILO firmware is approved and ready to run. ILO firmware then validates the system ROM, system CPLD, innovation engine, management engine. So those five essential pieces of firmware are assured to be correct before the system boots. So we're going to protect the system. Uh, if there was uh, something that happened unforeseen, we're going to detect that it happened. And then we also have the ability to automatically recover to known good firmware images from the factory that our uh, security officer could update and create a new you know, recovery profile. So we can actually even recover the firmware if it got into a compromised state from a disgruntled employee, a compromised employee, or a supply chain attack somewhere along the line because that server traveled through many ports and thousands of miles going from where it was manufactured to the end customer. So we're locking down those uh, vulnerabilities. We're paying attention to consultants that we have. We're getting information from the government. We had an FBI agent, James Morrison here, who talked about the threats to cybersecurity and how firmware needs to harden. So at HPE, we've taken that seriously and we've hardened our servers and made the most secure industry standard server on the planet, and that's a pretty exciting thing. So, so what makes it uh, something that, say, hackers can't game? Okay, well, because it all falls down to that silicon-based root of trust, we burn in the signature that identifies the ILO firmware when the chip is manufactured, and you can't spoof that. You can't go in and hack the ASIC. The ASIC is hardware, and it cannot be changed. And so that is the foundation of our silicon root of trust. That's different from what anyone else in the industry can do. We are the only people that can do this because we're really the only people that still make our own management processor. The ILO ASIC is custom designed by HPE to be the perfect management processor for our servers. So then the question becomes, like, what took so long? Why, why is this something that didn't happen sooner? Oh man, it is hard. We've always had security. ILO has had always had industry leading server security. Every version of ILO firmware since ILO 1, which we launched 15 years ago, has always been digitally signed. So we've had a firmware based route of trust. We've had great security. Our Gen 8, Gen 9 servers, our customers can run with confidence. We're just up in the ante with Gen 10. We're bringing more awesomeness to the table with Gen 10. More awesomeness, I like That's that. That's right, more awesomeness.